So, <clears throat> again, regarding the uh, Illuminati Secret Society of the Children's Aid Societies, um, getting back to um, various examples I've gone through. So, I mean, based on the workers' abilities to um, uh, use discretion at their they're choosing it's like basically taking a, a social work student giving them an office and allowing them to be the prime minister of a little secret society agency and they get away with it um they're not that qualified nor trained and there are managers above them and oversight staff and and they have this complaint policy procedure where you you follow the chain of command up to the executive director um for a complaint but um discretion given to these workers is, is just like the discretion giving a police officer who has their mobile office on wheels armed with artillery and they're basically at their will leisure and pleasure to do whatever they want to somebody and then lie and cover it up and say you know without a body cam they they do whatever they want same with the social workers and i believe there should be body cams on social workers um after all the things i've seen and gone through but giving a worker in the children's aid that much power and authority it, for example something can go like this um i walk into their office one day for business knowing who they are knowing they're snakes and and they're conniving and they're cunning and they're they're murderers you know how many children in the few hundred years that the children's aid has existed that the deaths of children were covered up and never allowed to reach public knowledge and they get away with it they don't have to answer for it and i mean everyone up to the corner and the in the grave digger is is backing them up saying oh yes this was uh oh a natural cause or oh this or that but they don't calculate or or admit to every little detail that led up to all the un unnecessary discretionary actions that should or should not have been taken that were cause a direct proportional cause that led up to the deaths of many children too so when i say murder i use that in in particular ways um but the okay the the this is who you're dealing with like sharks and I'm going in there prepared. I know who they are. I know what they can't do to me. I know what they're capable of. But I bring a new initiate. You know, say somebody that's going to co-care give with me and um, is uh, brand new to the children's aid. Never had a dealing with them. Maybe never had a child. Okay. They are like vultures or, or seagulls to french fries on the, on the city park grounds or, or wherever. And... <sighs> they flock to that new person because it's new blood it's flesh fresh blood and they win them over with their um patronizing their their niceties their generous discretionary use of generous uh techniques and behaviors whereas they wouldn't provide me anything and I, they'd know I'd, i'm standing there watching but if i act out of character and say hey what's going on then you know oh call the police hostility is going on like literally you cannot address these people um because we are opposing adversarial court cases parent against children's aid society but their secret technique is to keep the parent in their system you have to cooperate with the worker you have to come into our agency and discuss such and such and such and everything under the sun about your past future and future lives and past lives and dreams and schemes and you know name it and if they don't know something and they're still unclear about something or um they're wondering about something their discretion is king you know um you have to give an answer and if you don't well you're hiding something and um they they know this behavior you know if you start being reserved okay i'm going to give you space you're you're the children's aid we're opposing each other we're going to be civil we're going to do this i have my position you have your position we agree to disagree their jargon right well 
you know too much now. So you're biased. And they're going to be like, well, we try to work with you. No, we can't do that because, or we can't do this because um, in the past, and they always bring up the past, like it's happening now. Um, well, in your history, and it could be years ago, like five or six or ten years ago, in your past, you were like this. They don't care how much counseling they sent you to and how much certificates you got and learning you've done and improvements you've made and changes. They call it gains. Mothers made some gains. And um, though they, they use their discretion. If you step out of their cookie-cutter gingerbread shape, it's like... Well, in the past, and then we're relying on all our court documents, you were like this, oh, remember when you were doing this and that? And it has no relevance to the, the current moment. So when they're assessing people for psychological use of life, I guess, I mean, if I'm bringing up the past saying, okay, you guys did this before, they're saying, well, mother is in denial and she's refusing to let go of certain things and, and it's making us unable the working relationship has come to a halt their jargons again right they use it in court papers and you can it's universal you'll find them in all the court papers it's very similar branches of the same tree of language they use and it's all psychologically destruction destruction like it's meant to demean annihilate the human character of a parent they're fighting against to take their children and so, if you know too much, you can guarantee you're going to be on that blacklist, you know. But if you bring a new blood, they don't care what they've done to you. They'll tell up and down in front of you your past and your history, but they'll turn to them and treat them like they're God, you know. And um, and then they'll start separating you and, and getting that person to, to, you know, conspire against you. It's almost like Satan snares and fills their soul with a new existence i've seen it happen to me and um and all of a sudden next they're 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 pushing towards oh well why don't you take the child and and you're not allowed to you know what i mean like oh and now you're not allowed to be together and if you so associate with each other then you're you're overstepping our rules and you can kiss your, your good luck goodbye of ever having a right to a child or your own again, ever, um, with all these tactics. And it's, it's warfare. It's spiritual, psychological warfare and parental alienation, annihilation. And um, I guess I'd coin that phrase, parental alienation, because what else is left? You're alienated from this secret society and you have no living source of hope in the social work industry in the world that will stand up against what they're doing because they're all the same branches of the same tree and um it's really the, 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 if you have a lawyer they'll, they'll tell you okay well you got a uphill battle here i mean yeah that gives you hope and inspiration that it can be fought but the lawyer's not going to fight their children say lawyer. I mean, they go to the golf clubs together, you know what I mean? And so, I mean, they'll say what they are there to say through what justice they're trying to get, but nobody's going to listen to it. Of course not. No, they're not. And um, they've gone as vindictiveness as um, they didn't like me to an extent. I had an incident and um, they weren't protecting my child God know me. And I punched the worker and they turned around and say in the court papers, oh, mother assaulted the worker holding the baby. Then she dropped the baby on the floor. Then the worker took the baby and then she was arrested. And now we want crown wardship. Um, that was basically saying goodbye to that child forever. Um, the records will be sealed forever. You cannot know where they are, who they are, what they're doing, you know, for the rest of their life unless they came to find you and um but then they went to step beyond and use some of their grand discretion and they just let him die unexplainedly in foster care through when he was sick there was obviously legitimate reasons why a child could be protected and 
there's measures that the German state has to take in caring for a sick child, but they didn't bother to put any of those in care. How many in play? How many children die in their care over the last 300 years of an existence? You think they would be able to prevent every other death? I mean, given some are tragic as the parents beating the child, but oh my god. Yes, there's clearly things wrong there, and a child needs protection, but in this assist, the system that, that kills unrighteously in other circumstances, I don't believe they can protect anybody. They allow those evil parents to kill, and they're like, yeah, the blood is better on your hands than it is on ours, you know. And then it's in the paper, oh, children's aid, try to investigate, and they're so sorry this child died, and, and their parents care, but if they do it, it doesn't get published. I went to a newspaper, they won't touch it. Um, people know children's aid will turn and sue they're a mega corporation they're a super corporation they're, they're, they're trillions and zillions and they're army protected to boot um, of dollars zillions of dollars rich who's going to stand up against these people and once you hire that fresh out of college no children social worker I mean, they come and destroy families, and they have the world at their back. I mean, this is a battle of Jesus. It's it's Armageddon against the family, you know, the nuclear unit. Oh, but a great argument is that I've made <laughs> numerous times. It's been documented in all my court papers and all my legal consultations and, and such and so forth, but is yeah i have a great mind it slips me sometimes i'm, I'm just like right there but um they don't try to okay <clears throat> for instance with um their secret initiating society right and you have to go and do their services they call it and um, in order for them to assess if the child can be returned in their general time frames of like they'll take the child for three months and they'll assess and then at the three months they'll decide if they can have six months of supervision but the child goes home or so forth like that or six months of care and still assessing and so forth but um yeah, it's only like a few court dates a year you'll get unless you make more motions, but um, and that's like that's like an Olympus dream. You only get one shot every four years or something. You know what I mean? It's like a few times a year that you could impress upon the world over of these things that you're the best parent. You're not the worst abomination. Like they're trying to make you. How are you gonna prove? You know, like when they're slandering Jesus. Um, you're the king of the Jews, you say you're God, you're this and you're that. I mean, he's not going to argue with his people. But that's what they believe against you. That it's completely arbitrary, malicious, high-handed nonsense they're throwing at you. And they're getting away with it. But, okay, um, back to the no-show sessions. Like I had... Um, been 16 years old as a parent right and I was sent to their counseling and then I had visits with the child on the same day with certain counseling sessions so I'd come from counseling I'd be late for the visit because I don't want to miss the counseling so I'm late to the the visit and I got no show. I got like three no shows. And I said, I told you guys where I was going. What you know that if you put this on a letter and give it back to the children's aid, they're going to use it in the court papers and say that I didn't do what they wanted me to do. Well, sorry. We have to tell them the truth, sort of thing. And I'm like, well, can I make it up? And I talked to the workers. Well, this is what happened. And they're willing to help me. And they're not really saying that I didn't show up. They're just saying, Okay, well, we'll give you another three months to assess you. So that means, in other words, do it all over again. But this taking you into the court, realizing you can't 
make the final assignment and you can't do the final paper and hand it in and get an 80 or 90. They realize that. But they're not going to stop asking for that. So there's nothing that obligates them to be the people that help you get your family back together. You're on your own. It doesn't matter how old you are. I've been told by the manager of the Native Services branch that you're an adult now, you want to have children, so you should be responsible for your actions. And I had a witness with me, and they said this, and that's why I brought witnesses. But <clears throat> and they, they took it as some hostile act of she's trying to fight us and bring people to fight us and stuff. But they don't bother and say, okay, we're going to realize the level you're at. We're going to try and help you through this. They don't bother because they don't have the humanistic skills to it would make them bias or prejudice and sitting on both sides of the fence right because they're going to try and help you and then they have to like force be forced by their manager to say okay you got the quota of children this month that we need or or can we cut this one off and that one off you said this was going on get rid of them you know what i mean and no matter how they're not on the dark side yet, you know, no matter how much in their heart they wanted to help you, they become cold. I met many new, freshly off the line workers, and they're nice at first, but they turn. And you know the moment they turn because there's just something's changed in their personality. They're no longer being nice, or they're no longer talking, or you know they're on the other side and you can turn around with the old conversation and they'll argue it like they were there for years against you they're, they're that trained to manipulate them so that's another example um there's much more and it all needs to be talked about and uh, we're gonna make it happen